So I will go to first table. VBA ke table. I will go for display. Now it is a real project. Yes, you will understand fully. I will go to contents. Now, now we will go for our functional specification and we will compare now. Okay. What is the input? VBAK ER dat VBAK ER num means creation date. Creation date. Have, have you seen? Are you you are able to see ER date here? This is the input. This is the input. If you are not able to see ER DAT here, no problem. Do one thing. Settings. Fields for selection. Choose ER DAT. And once you select, you will be able to see ER DAT here. Now, just now we created the sales order. It means we created the sales order on today's date. What is today's date? I will choose that today's date as 23rd August. It's just a real project because what is the input to the program? SO creation date, sales order creation date. We created the sales order on which date? 23rd. I will execute. Have you seen? We got the sales order 7778. Okay, by mistake, I told 76 at that point of time. It is 77, 78. So we got two sales order on which date? 23rd date. Yes. So whenever customer will put that date 23rd. So whatever the sales order created on that date, it will be in the output. Now just see. From in the output, you require how many columns from VBAK table? You require sales order, VBELN. Okay. From VBAK table, we only, only require one column that is VBELN. VBELN. So I will just go for output change, settings. Formal list, choose fields. I will deselect everything. Anyways, it is already clearly explained in data dictionary playlist how we can go for all these things. So from this VBAK table, I require only one column that is VBEL. So whenever we will give a input as creation date yes we will get the output from which table vbak table and we got how many sales order two sales order now now you can see we have second thing also on the screen that is your username username vbak er num but just see it is optional if user is passing or user is not passing, it is user wish. But creation date is compulsory. Are you able to see this symbol? It means it is mandatory. And we are going for creation date. Creation date is compulsory. I can go for username also. Suppose settings for fields for selection. Sorry. I will take ER num also. But it's an option. So ER dat 23rd, ER num R Mehta. This is my login ID. This is my, because I created this sales order, R Mehta. If I will show you in output also, settings, formal list, choose fields. ER num. You can see R Mehta. So this is your input. This is your input of the table. And this is your output of the table. Whenever you want to add some column in the input, go for settings, fields for selection. Whenever you want to go for any column in the output, 
you have to go to formal list choose fields because we cannot see the output of so many columns. So our first table part is over. Just think if customer, if functional is not giving you the test data, how, how you can go for that test, how you can go for that data, how you can put a input into VBAK table and check. So we gave date 23rd and we got this two sales order because this two sales order created on today's date. Now we will go to next table, next table. What is our next table? Our next table is VBAP table, VBAP. I will go to VBAP table. Now the real importance part because maximum people or especially fresher struggled how to find the relationship between the tables. When you put that date, when you put that date, you got these two sales order. Now we will go to VBAP table. In VBAP table also, we have sales document, sales document. It means whatever the sales document we will get from VBAK table, we will pass to VBAP table. So you are getting how many sales order? 77, 78. So we will simply copy this. I will go for control Y, control C. Just click on to this multiple selection button and do control V or you can choose this option also. We'll go to execute. Have you seen when I put two sales document number, I got how many records? Four records. Now just recall when you created first sales order, how many items we gave two items. When I created second sales order, how many items I gave two items. So in this item table, I have how many records now? Four records. If I will show you the sales order, which we created, if I want to display a sales order, I can go for VA03. VA03 is for display. If I will display 77, have you seen you created a sales order for two line items? Now, if I will go to 78. So in 78 also, we have two line items. So this item data stored into which particular table, VBAP table, VBAP table. Header data stored into which table, VBAK table. If I will go to VBAK table, this is our VBAK table. If I will show you all the columns, if I will put today's date, you can see if I will go to any sales order, just see when you created the sales order, what the order type we gave OR1. If I will go for scroll down, if I will show you that, Customer reference, what I gave test, what the sold to party I gave 300021. So header data stored into which table? VBAK table, VBAK. This header data stored into VBAK table. This, But this item data stored into which table? VBAP table. Now, from VBAP table, you require how many column? Postnar, Matenar, KWMENG, and VRKME. Now we will go for VBAP. So from VBAP, you want to go for how many column? I will go for settings, formal list, choose fields. I will deselect. We will take VBELN because it is common between both the tables. Postnar. We require Postnar. 
we require maintainer. And what is next column we require? KWMENG. Order quantity. And what is next? VRKME. VRKN. Will go for apply. So now these are the data of the five columns. Just see when I created the order, what the quantity I gave 100. 100, 200, 100, 200. Yes, you can see same to same thing. And when we created the sales order, just see. What was the material? 134, 134. What was the material? 42, 42. 134, 42. This is our first sales order, second sales order. So everything is getting stored into that table. So what is the relationship between the tables? Firstly, whatever the creation date you will pass, whatever the creation date we will give. Creation date or we can filter based upon username. Based upon that, we will fetch data from which table? VBAK table. From VBAK table, you will take what? From VBAK table, you will take this sales document number, VBELN. This VBELN will go to which table? VBAP table and you will fetch the data of how many column? Five column. Now, it's a turn for the third table and maximum people fashion struggle whenever we have the third table now. Now we will go for third table. What is third table? Third table is M A K T M A K T. Which column we want? M A K T X. We will go for M A K T X table. I will go to M A K T X. We will display. Sorry, table is Mara. A table is MAKT. Sorry, I put the wrong table name. I put the column name. Table is MAKT. We'll display that table. Just see this table has the material descriptions. Material descriptions. And we, what are the columns? Matena, that is primary key of this table. Language, primary key of the table. And we require what? MAKTX material description. From this table, we require material description. But how, how we will get the material description? Just see this table BBAP, BBAP. Do you have a matinar column in BBAP table? Yes. Do we have a matinar column into this particular table? So we will simply put the data and check. Yes, are we able to get the description? So just copy the data of Matinar column. Control Y is for Yank. Copy these materials. Because from VBAP table, you will get this data. So this data, we will pass it to MAKT table. We'll go to contents. We will go to matinar column and paste. I will go to OK. I will go to execute. And have you seen? We got that description. If you remember when we created the sales order, 42 is what? Steel. 134 is what? Iron. Just see. Just see when we created the sales order. So we, this is the relationship between the second and the third table. Yes, second table matinar is equal to third table matinar. And we will be able to get which particular thing material description. Extremely important. This is the way I put so much stress on the test data. Because based upon test data only, you will be able to find the relationship between the tables. So what is the summary of the video? 
whenever you start any development, the first thing you need to find the relationship between the tables. If relationship part is okay for you, the logic will go very smooth. First thing, sit with functional person. How the functional is preparing the test case. The major benefit is if in future you want more test cases, you can prepare by your own. But no issues if functional is giving the test case. At least you can use those test cases. Now, we created two sales order on that today's date. And whenever we put date into VBAK table, we got VBELN. VBELN means sales document number. This VBELN we passed to VBAP table and we got the data of this five column. This Matinar column data we passed to MAKT table and we got the description of the materials. So what is the relationship between the three tables? VBELN of first table means VBAK table is equal to VBELN of VBAP table. MATNR of VBAP table is equal to MATNR of MARA table. Because now based upon this only, we will prepare the technical specification. Because in technical specification, we will write this logic and after that we start with the coding step. In the next video, we will prepare the technical specification based upon this. So that's it in this video. Thank you.